Um, I did have a, a question, of course, on the topic of racism, but just really quickly on the last um, answer that you gave. So is it to be understood? Um, for example, we know that every Atma has their own personality. And uh, so even in the animal species, they also have their own personality. And you give a very great example that, for example, if a pack of deer, one is kind of thrown out of the pack, he's tried to find a home in another pack, might not, the new pack might not want to accept that new deer. Um, maybe it's not so racism because it's a still, oh, or um, color of the fur or the, but maybe uh, discrimination. That's you're saying that's not a product of say personality. Um, okay. I'm not but, saying it's not a product of personality. Good point. See, when say there is certain sort of certain groups are included, certain people are included in a group, even in animals. So, do animals have personality? They are also persons, of course, they have personality. Now, do they have free will? Yes, animals also have free will. They don't have free will to the extent that we have. Do they have intelligence? Yes, they also have intelligence. That's how we are able to train them also. Hmm? For example, in circus or in pets, when animals are trained. So how are they trainable? That's because they, they, they can learn. So they have the intelligence and the free will by which they can choose to act in particular ways. However, the degree varies from species to species. So is it something which is consciously thought and taught by one member to another? There is no ideology behind it. It is just, that, oh, you're not a part, a part of our group, don't come here. Hmm? We won't accept you. So it's not so much uh, something which is consciously thought and taught to anyone, but it's just something which is more like a herd instinct. Hmm? So, so could racism also be a herd instinct? It could be, but it could also be more than that. The herd instinct is something which you just do because everyone else is doing it. But racism is something more, not now, but at least in the previous generations, it was taught consciously that certain races are superior to other races. In fact, one spin-off of the Darwinian theory of evolution was a, was a now debunked theory called social Darwinism. Social Darwinism was the idea that certain races, just as there is a struggle for existence among species, there is a struggle for existence among races also. And certain races are inherently superior to other races. And of course, uh, uh, Hitler misappropriated that idea to say that the Nazis are the supreme race. But the idea that um, this is kind of superiority, this is something which is developed using the intelligence. So and it was consciously taught, just taught to people that our race is superior and their race is inferior. I don't think that kind of teaching happens in animal species. So to just take this further see one way uh, how the how species how much a species evolved can be understood is that we all have our behavior is deter determined to some extent by inherited characteristics and some in some extent by acquired or learned characteristics mm -hmm. so in the lower species the learning is very less it's almost everything is inherited mm -hmm. In the lower species but in the human species also be inherited but the learning is much much more so going back to the earlier example of a uh, of a speech recognition software artificial intelligence program so the animal body is something which is largely this is the kind of body and this is the way you're going to function mm -hmm. you can learn but it's relatively less but uh, so animals mostly behave according to inherited characteristics inherited means what has been designed, whatever the program, that's how it functions. Whereas humans, along with inherited or genetic characteristics, there's also acquired characteristics. And they play a quite a significant role in human species. Okay. So uh, racism as an ideology is not something which is inherited. Hmm. The race itself is inherited. But racism is not inherited. Racism is a particular way of looking at the world. Race in terms of a biological say biological skin color or whatever, that's inherited. But the ideology that certain, um, the mentality or the ideology that a particular particular race is of a particular disposition, particular race is inferior, particular race is superior, that's something which is acquired. So in that sense, we don't consider it to be, in animals it's not consciously thought and taught. Whereas in humans it could be. Okay, thank you, good question. Yeah.